Hey guys, this is the video on how to get PyLint installed. So it's it's very similar to how we actually got Python to work correctly. Uh, one thing that you're going to want to take note of is inside your Python install folder here. I mean, I'm just going to quickly navigate to mine and blow it up, make it nice and big. Uh, you're going to have the scripts folder, right? So I installed my Python into this uh, d colon backslash apps Python 3.4. Then we have the scripts folder. You go inside here, and there's some more scripts. Uh, the script that we're going to be utilizing to install things is pip. Uh, pip is very common to install additional Python modules. So what I'm going to do is click on this bar up here, copy with control C uh, this location, uh, let me go fix my folders again. Okay. And then you're going to go to your system settings and then advanced system settings. Then we have the system properties window here. So inside here, you're going to have environment variables. So same thing we did before. We're going to go to our path variable. And at the end of our path variable, I'm going to put a semicolon and paste that path in. I'm going to hit OK, hit OK, hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and close out the, that command prompt. I'm going to open up a new command prompt. Ooh, not like that, though. That was an ugly one. Let's open up this pretty one. Uh, get rid of these icons on my desktop. So we have a new py command prompt. Um, let me go to my D drive, Python, list out some files here. So I have... Uh, I have the Python interpreter installed, but when I type pylint, I have nothing. So we're going to fix that. So what you need to do to install pylint, pip install pylint. And it does some things. Okay, I'm going to run pylint now on module 1. Oh, my module one code is terrible. I scored a negative 4.29. So, that's how you install PyLint. Relatively straightforward and easy. Um, just make sure after you add the scripts folder to your path, update or load a new command prompt. All right. Um, thanks for watching.